Hey guys, what's up? It's Duncan here, KH Fan, bringing you guys another album review, this time of the Relapse Records release, 2013, Conceived in Sewage by Devourment. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Devourment, they are a brutal death metal band. I don't know where they're from, because I'm kind of new to these guys as well. Um, I mean, I kind of discovered them like a year ago, and then I started listening to them like later last year. Um... I listened to Butcher of the Week and was blown away. Second album was pretty damn good as well. Um, but Unleashing the Carnivore was meh, in my opinion. The production was kind of flat and just not very well mixed, in my opinion. But now this is the uh, Devourment has come back from uh, Unleashing the Carnivore and they released their first album on Relapse entitled Conceived in Sewage. Now, if these are these guys are basically the kings of brutal slam death metal. And what do I got to say about Conceived in Sewage? Wow. This album completely fucking destroys. Um I I can't, I can't say one bad thing really about Devourment besides um Unleashing the Carnivore being just a kind of a badly produced album. That's just me. Um, this album was actually produced by Eric Rutan of Hate Eternal. And for those who may not know, this guy, obviously famous for his death metal band Hate Eternal, but also famous for producing pretty damn good death metal records. For example, producing, uh, I think he produced the new Goat Horror album, uh, Blood on the Master, and he also uh, produced the last two, no, no, three Cannibal Corpse albums, uh, Kill, Evisceration, Plague, and Torture. Now he's do now he did this album, and my God, he did a fantastic job. He made Devourment sound a whole lot better on this record as compared to Unleashing the Carnivore. Now this this album was ver was kind of was pretty damn diverse from song to song. Like none of the songs start off the same. None of them sound the same. So basically, when you go through the album, you know, oh, um, this song, Fucked With Rats, Legalized Homicide, etc. So, that's all I really, that's really it for, like, that. Because usually some death metal bands just like to start off the same or start off with, like, a blast beat every song. Cough, cough, flesh got apocalypse. Um, but, yeah, uh... What do I gotta say? The guitars are very well played, very crunchy, gritty, in your face type guitar playing, very technically played and very well executed. Bass is audible. The drums are very, very heavy sounding, although I do have a little bit of complaint with the, with the uh, snare drum sound, which kind of sounds the same with every development release that they've done. But that's just a minor gripe, in my opinion. Um, the drums are sounding very, very heavy. The kick drums sound phenomenal. I mean, once you have a heavy-sounding drum kit, you're going to have a heavy-sounding record. And that's key for a very heavy death metal release. And when it comes to the vocals, oh my fucking Christ. The freaking vocals on this record are absolutely ridiculously disgusting. I mean... The, 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 I don't know. I don't know the band members band members' names, but the vocalist for Devourment is just absolutely disgusting. I mean, he can go so guttural on his like him and Travis Ryan both go at um, both are like the most guttural vocals in death metal, in my opinion. Um, and funny fact, I mentioned Travis Ryan because he also is featured on this record um, called on the song Fucked With Rats, which is phenomenal. Just those two going, those two doing vocals on one song is just like the apocalypse waiting to happen because you got two of the most brutal voices in death metal on the same track. It's fucking awesome. And I believe, I don't know what song it was or what album. If you, if you guys know, please tell me. Um, the vocalist from Devourment was on a cattle decapitation song. So kind of doing each other favors and just... Uh, showing up on each other's songs. So, Fuck With Rats is a very fantastic song, having Travis Ryan on there, because he is by far one of the greatest death metal vocalists to ever come out, in my opinion. And the guy from Devourment is no exception as well. Um, if I were to give this album a score, 
I'm going to have to give this a strong 8.5 out of 10. These guys really set the bar high for death metal releases in 2013. Got only people, only God knows what fucking sick ass death metal records are going to be coming out later on this year. Um, so if you guys are at a music store and you see Conceived in Sewage, please buy it. It's awesome. I'm going to be buying my copy. Um, soon, probably tomorrow, if my local store actually has it at Bull Moose. Um, so yeah, I'll, that's all I really got to say about this new album. It's fucking sick. I mean, if you like brutal, slam, death metal, pick up this album. You, you, you will not be disappointed from the kings of slams of slam themselves. So I'm going to conclude this, uh, I'm going to conclude this review. Thank you guys for watching and thank you all for subscribing and seeing my uh hearing my opinions about music and whatnot i'll see you guys later peace out and keep it metal